Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a unique feature section in Divi with icons animated by circle counters. This is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So let's call this page features. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So the option we need here is build from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And then we're going to start off with a single column. And in that column, we're going to add a text module. Okay, so I'm going to select it. Right, so by default, we can see here that we have quite a bit of text. So what we need to do is to add our own text in there. So I'm just going to highlight and then just paste my text. And next, I need to uh, set our features into a heading. So I'm going to come over here and set this to heading one. Now let's go ahead and customize this text. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text, and then we're going to change the fonts to Monsterat. I'm going to select that. So for the text font weight, I'm going to set this to semi bold. And then over here on the size, I'm going to set this at 22 pixels. And for the text orientation, I'm going to make sure that this is centered. Now let's adjust our heading font. So I'm going to come over here. In fact, I'll collapse this first so I can see my heading. So I'm going to come over here to heading text. So make sure you're on the right tab. So right now we're on H1. Another way of knowing is just by highlighting over here. Okay, so my heading text size needs to be 6VW. And we might as well set the sizes for our tablet and our smartphone. So for our tablet, I'm going to click the tablet tab and set this at 50 pixels. And for the smartphone, I'm going to set this at 30 pixels. Okay, back over here to my desktop. So for, for now, we're done with this. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then next, I'm going to come over here to my section settings. So in the section settings, we need to add a box shadow. So I'm going to come over here to design box shadow. And the shadow I'm going to pick is this one right here. Oops, so I'm going to select it. And our vertical position needs to be set at 19. Box shadow blur strength needs to be set at 80. And the spread strength needs to be set at minus 16. Now we need to add our shadow color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool. And I'm going to paste my values within these brackets, just like that. Now, if you want to use the same settings as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to save settings. Now it's time to create the main feature section. So this is going to be <laughs> exciting. Right, so what we need to do now is to add a brand new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click on regular. And then we're going to choose this option here. So we're going to choose four columns. So before we go in and start adding our blurbs, let's make some adjustments to our section. So I'm just going to close this for now. And then I'm going to come over here on my section settings. So I'm going to click here on design and make some adjustments. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set our sizing at 1080 pixels. Our alignment is going to be centered. Now we're going to add a divider. So I'm going to come over here to dividers and uh, make sure that you've selected top divider. And then I'm going to choose my style right here. So this is the style I'm going to go with. So I'm going to select it. So the next thing now is to add our divider color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool. And the color I need to enter here is an RGBA value. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit so I can get my values. And then between the brackets, I'm going to paste my value just like that. Next, we need to adjust our divider height. And this needs to be set at 52%. And then we can go ahead and save settings. Now it's time to add our blurb module. So I'm going to click this plus button here and I'm going to search for my blurb module, select it. And then over here by default, it comes in with an image. So we need to change that image into an icon. So I'm going to come over here to image and icon and then I'm going to click on use icon. So over here on the bottom is where I need to choose my icon. So I'm just going to drag down here and choose the icon that I need. So I'm going to go with this one for the first one. We need to add the icon color. So I'm going to come over here to design, image and icon. And then I'm going to add my color right in here. On the circle icon, I'm going to say yes. And now it's time to add our circle color. So I'm going to click the eyedropper tool. And this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my values between these brackets right here. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to add a specific size to our icon. So I'm going to come over here to use icon font size. And then I'm just going to make sure that this is set to about 48. Next, I'm going to come over here to text and then I'm going to change my text orientation to centered. And then I'm going to click on save settings. So the next stage now, since we've added all the features that we need to this blurb, 
is to copy and paste this blurb over to the next columns. So I'm just going to hit Command C or Control C on a PC. And then over here, I'm just going to hit Command V or Control V. Now we're going to add circle counters to overlap the blurb icons. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and search for my circle counter. I'm going to select it. So before we make any, uh, any settings to this circle counter, what we need to do is to drag this above our module here. So I'm just going to drag it like that. And then I'm going to go into the module settings. So first of all, we need to delete the text here for the title. And we're going to change this number to 25. Okay, so now we're going to go into our design tab and add the colors. So first of all, I'm going to add the bar background color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool. Paste my color in here. Next, we need to come over here to the number text. And what we're going to do here is going to make this completely transparent. So I'm going to come over here to number text color. Click the eyedropper tool. And then I'm just going to drag this all the way down here. So that's fully transparent. For the number text size, I'm going to set this to zero. Next, we're going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set the width of 109 pixels. And for the module alignment, I'm going to make sure that this is centered. And we're going to add a bottom margin of minus 102 pixels. So I'm going to come over here to spacing, bottom margin, minus 102. So now we can see that this circle fits perfectly with our icon. So all we have to do now is to copy and paste this module on the rest of the columns. So I'm going to save this for now. And then I'm going to copy and paste it over here. And then I'm just going to drag this into position. So as you can see, these columns here have the same icons. We need to change that. And we also need to change the values here that we have in the circle counters. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings. So here we have uh, 25. Let's change this to 50. Save that. We're going to change this to 75. Save that. And then finally, we're going to change this and make this 100. Great. So the next step now is to change the icons. So again, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show you how to do one of them, and then you can go ahead and do the rest. So over here, we're just going to choose a different icon. So I'm going to select this one right here, save. And then what you may want to do here is to reduce the text here. So I'm just going to delete some of this text because it's a bit too much. So the next stage now is to use the row padding to position the icons to coincide with the divider. So I'm going to go into the row settings. So I'm going to click here into row settings, design, sizing, and we're going to make this row full width. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing. So for column two and three, I'm going to add a padding of 9% to the top. So I'm going to start over here, add my 9%. And then I'm going to go to column three and add another 9%. So now we can see that these icons are now following our divider. So what we may want to do as well is to make sure that this looks nice on mobile devices. So I'm going to click this little icon here so that I can go into my tablet. And for the tablet, I'm going to set this at zero. And then over here, I'm going to do the same as well. Okay, so that's all we need to do. I'm going to go ahead now and save. And this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.